Hey everybody, we're back here with the Riders Journal. This is Tom Taylor. Uh, get on the website, buy those shirts, buy those subscriptions, yada yada. Uh, get to, get on our Facebook page to see more. And as a treat here, I've been hearing about this car for Manuel Reyes for 20 years. 20 years he's been working on this thing. And finally, it is done. Uh, it's his kind of tribute to Bellflower and to the customs from that era and uh, it's really gorgeous and uh, so without further ado where did you go there you are yeah, Manuel. <laughs> say hi to the Rotters Journal how you doing Rotters Journal <laughs> Jeff and Steve <laughs> and Joey <laughs> yeah, yeah there you go catch them all yeah there you go you finally got it done finally that's what my wife said also <laughs> <laughs> Where did she go? There she is. She's taking a picture of us and we're okay. Yeah. I can't believe it. Join the club. <laughs> Why got, did it take so damn long? At the time when I started, I was working full time in my art studio. I had a graphic art studio. Yes. And I had nine employees and by the time I get home, nine, ten o'clock, no time. And then weekends, trim the trees, mow the lawn, stuff like that. That's her fault. My fault. <laughs> <laughs> But once I retired, I was able to spend a little bit more time, and then I was able to the last year or so really spend a lot of time. So this is like a tribute to the Bellflower Customs, right? The car that inspired me in reality was a Jack Lorry car. Okay, a Jack Lorry. I, okay. I did not want to. I did not want to clone that in, in, in any way. And I grew up in Huntington Beach, so I was used to the Lakewood Bellflower guys going to the Renegades Car Show and seeing the cars. And I like the style of cars that were done there, you know, from from you know Long Beach area. So I, that's, that's why I wanted. I didn't want a tail dragger, even though it may look. It, it, it's its level. You measure it. It does. It does look like a tail dragger. Yeah, but it, it's it's its level. I always wanted it level, and that's where it is. Simple as that. All right. Yeah. Who chopped the top? Jeff Mitford Taylor. Jeff did. Okay. Yeah, GMT. Okay. Yeah. How long ago? Woo wee. I mean, that had to have been close to 20, because he's been in New Zealand for. He did. Uh, he did it in 1999. Okay. When he chopped the top, he did the firewall first floorboards then we chopped the top reduced the crown because they look like half of a beach ball the yeah. top yeah. then he filled in the roof and reduced the crown and then uh, the rest of the work was done by Jeff but mostly uh, Steve Morrow Morrow there he's back in, in New Zealand too yes the guy's a genius metal genius so who painted it me you you got it you got a Toyota <laughs> <laughs> and we should probably tell people he used to letter cars, and he used to flame them, yeah. and there's probably the most famous flamed car in the world that he flamed, and that would be the California Kid for Peach of Porus. Yeah, back so, in 73. So this is the dude. This is the dude that did that. Yeah, the dude. <laughs> so what is the paint? It's a water base. Custom water mix, base? Water base, custom mix, emerald green. I wanted lacquer because I'm used to lacquer, but I couldn't get the toners clean enough that I wanted. I had to go to water base. But uh, this first car I painted, since 1979, <laughs> and the first car I ever did in two stage, based on Oh my clear. God! Well, was it freaky doing water base? Not really. The only freaky part, because I had done some little things with flames, whatever, with a regular uh, two stage, and whatever color it is, that is the color. Water base. If it's green, you spray the, the green on. It doesn't look green when you put it on, only until you get the clear. Really? Yeah. So it's kind of creepy because... Yeah, I'm not used to that. Okay. But the clear is the hard part, you know, and yeah. So when so when you shot the clear yeah. and it came out like this, is this exactly what you wanted? Yeah. Oh, yeah. There was hesitation. Done, no, we had figured out the colors long ago, and I want... To me, I don't want a dark color car because of dust. It shows dust. But to me, an early custom, they're always dark colors. Yes. Sinister, whatever. And I like the organic colors, you know. Yes. So that's what I was trying to do. Secondly, everybody had maroons and purple, whatever. Yes. So I went with a green, almost like uh, uh, Sam Barris green. But yes, I okay. But All I right. didn't know that at the time. Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah, so in the sun, this is a sun color, like candies and pearl. In the sun, the highlights are bright emerald green and as it falls away from the sun it gets very dark okay so it flops that's flops what, dark yeah that's exactly okay. what i wanted all right can yeah. we see it can we see some like the interior and the engine and sure we'll go on the other side because okay easier. <laughs> all right we're just gonna go under the the ropes here Yeah, I'd 
love to see this outside. Manual, I can't believe it's done. That's all I can say. <laughs> Look at that. Yeah. Wow. That's a Japanese for Taylor Firewall. No holes in it. It's been a lot of time. No strengthening ribs, no holes, the, the, no nothing. The, the strengthening ribs are behind the rear window. Uh, and then I have a fake uh, auxiliary firewall on the inside. Okay. And, and with a uh, standoff nuts and bolts, elevator bolts, and I put an aluminum panel, and that's where the our gauge, you know, a fuel, uh, you know, wiring panel. Wire also. panel. Yeah, 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 it's all there. Yeah. Wow, yeah. very nice. Have you driven this thing at all? Uh, only in the parking lot here. Really? So oh, around the house, around the house a little bit. Okay. All yeah. right. Yeah. So let's show them the front here because those aren't stock 36 tail or headlights. No, that's for damn sure. No, no. I took a cue from the Kalari Coupe, and those are 40 Chevy headlights. Uh, Pomona swap you find <laughs> and the grill. I didn't know what to do, and everybody said LaSalle grills, all that stuff. So, what I did is I went on Photoshop and I got a real nice pick of the front end of the 36. And on Photoshop, I started reducing the, the, the amount of bars. There's normally 17 bars across the inside, we got 12. Okay, and we kept doing it, doing it, doing it until we found something that Jeff and I agreed with, and we had to make sure that that was wide enough for the, the air to go in through the, through the radiator. Yes, and then you can't see it here because it's painted black, but he built a real nice uh, collector down the lot, bottom, so no air flows out. It goes all it goes into the radio. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Look at that. No, yeah. I like that. I mean, that's what it, it kind of sort of looks like a LaSalle, but then it, it, you narrowed. see it's a narrowed 36. Right. So Jim Ranch from Illinois did yes. the grill bars. And yes. He, I provided him with the shaped uh, brass stock that I shaped to the same shape as the, the, the original steel. Right. System. And then he bent it, drilled it, tapped it, whatever. Put it on. Fantastic. So I just got it back to the chrome platers about three weeks ago. Artistic uh, signal plating in, in Signal Hill. Artistic plating in Signal Hill. Yeah. Okay. Look at the look at the reflection in the, the hood. Yeah. That's Rutleaf hood. Yeah. A solid hood side, and then we had to put louvers in the same spot except reversed. Yes. Inverted louvers. Very cool. And clean. And then I had uh, Julian Alvarez is the nephew Tiki. And I had to get rid of all my rivets that held yes. this all together. Yes. And then did Jules rub it out? I did. He showed me how to do it. So you rubbed it out? I rubbed it out. Using per Jules. Per Jules, using our secret formula stuff. <laughs> and you wool pad, and then we switched over to the rubbing cup on Mix 5050 with Blue Magic. Okay. And then you dabbed it on there, and with the foam pad, hit it. I thought that's the secret, though. Not anymore. <laughs> it was then. <laughs> and filled top. Yeah. Filled top. And you took some crown out of it. Yeah, we took some crown out. In, my, in the judge's book, uh, it shows a picture that uh, Jeff Medford Taylor, he had a, uh, a template made. And then we, we brought it all along to make sure that it was always the same shape. Then he sent the template to the guy who shaped the metal, you know, like a Bobby Walden type of guy. Yeah. And then they shaped it. They brought it back in. It looks fine. They cut it, butt welded it. I go, wow. And then he's doing the, the hammer and tuck well in, you know, every two inches, whatever. The hammering. I go, oh my God, it's noisy. He says, How long is that going to take? He says, two days. And I know at $65 an hour, <laughs> I, walked, I walked out of there. <laughs> I walked out of there. I walked out of there. I went home. <sighs> so you did, and would you, did you do like the uh, the body work and then? No, they did. Oh, they, no, body work all, was done there. It was all done there. So then when you got it, it was in primer? No, it was bare steel. Bare steel. I had to prep it. You prepped it, primed it, and then you painted right, it. Right, yeah. So, Fantastic. Yeah, where so did you paint it? In my garage. Oh, where you guys live? Orange. Oh, my God. <laughs> I, I, we, we built up the garage, four-car garage. So in the back, what I did is I got clean, brand-new, four-mil plastic, wrapped the walls, did the ceiling, and then we got the right fans, and we just exhausted it up, you know. <laughs> well, if the, if the Orange PD are watching this... Uh, Come on, be cool, all right? Oh, I moved. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we don't live there anymore. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, God. That's fantastic. Who did the upholstery? Uh, Frankie at So Water Upholstery in Montebello. Okay. He does the guy's cars, the guys, the guy, you know. 
So we got a little bit of everything. We got East LA, Bellflower. Yeah, we got yeah, yeah. He did a nice job. Did, did you did you know the Ayalas by chance? Did no. You know Ayala, I, I only Ayala's? knew because you were in Long Beach. I was in Huntington Beach. Or Huntington Beach, I, yeah. But I grew up in San Diego, San Diego Valley. But I knew guys that had done work with the Ayalas and the 36 foot I had long ago that I bought from I got from Nick Serino. His paint job was done at uh, he had all his cars done at. at uh, Gil Ayala's shop. On, a, on Olympic, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Fantastic. Yeah. All right. So then with the last bit of pearl that I found in my garage, painted my wheel an ivory color with a little bit of pearl in it. So this is real pearl? Yeah, this yeah. This isn't the fake stuff? No, no. So what I did is I, I had mixed ivory base coat, and then the guy says, here's some binder, put your pearl in the binder, spread, and then shoot your clear. So it's two coats of color, two coats of pearl, three coats of clear. That's it. Fantastic. Done. Look at that. That's the real deal. That's yeah. the real pearl. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Fantastic. I can't believe it's done. Join the I club, just Tom. can't believe it's done. Join the club, Tom. And so Jeff did the uh, sunken uh, Steve, uh, license? Steve. Jeff, Steve did all this, all this. All this had to be replaced. All of it had to be replaced. Re rusted or beat up? or uh, Beat up. And Russ, way done in here. They redid this. They built this out of one straight piece, well, a couple of pieces of metal, and they put a half-inch roll. How roached was the car when you got it? It was pretty nice, in okay. reality. Okay. It was just back in here. Yeah, you know, yeah they bit. get punched. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And then Steve did the, the nice uh, splash apron. Yeah. Yeah. Tucked in the metal into the bumpers. It's beautiful. Yeah. Manual, I can't believe it. It's beautiful. Yeah, you got <laughs> You're, you're never going to drive this, right? You're just going to look at it we're and start it. it. I know you I are. I know. <laughs> no, no, we're going to drive. From here, it's going to go in a, in a week or so, a couple of weeks. It's going to Jimmy White's shop. Okay. We're going to make it roadworthy. Okay. Right now, it's showworthy. Now, we'll make it roadworthy. So, what's the front end? A Mustang. Mustang 2. Mustang 9 inch, 9 inch rear. 9 inch rear, 3.0 gears. And then what, like a 350? Uh -huh. or uh -huh. that rebuild with okay. a shift kit. Underneath, okay. it's clean, clean, clean. You know, satin black, gloss black, yeah, you know, yeah. stuff like that. So are you glad it's finally over? I'm happy. <laughs> Do you like it? I love it. We're moving on to our 56 Ford truck. Wow. 56 small window or big window? Small, small. small window. Okay. Yeah. Wow. So you're already up for that? Oh, I've been up for all these cars. Okay. All right. Fantastic. Well, I know you want to go. I think they're starting to give awards. So you scoot over there. I'll sign these people off. Thank you for talking to us. And uh, I, I know I keep saying, but I can't believe it's done. But it looks fantastic. It looks, it looks as good as you said it was going to look. That was the goal all along. And you know what? In reality, and I said it in uh, the, I said it in places. The, the work that Pete Eastwood did, Jeff Mitchell Taylor, Steve Morrow, they raised the bar for me. You know, here I am, color center rubbing out door jams. You know, think, what the hell am I doing here? <laughs> you know, but I had to do it because they, whatever they did was that. Well, you know, the bumpers that was narrowed. Really? Oh, okay. Na yeah, now and then they filled the bowl hole, and other stuff. Wow, very cool. All right, you guys go. Already. We're gonna thank you. Thank you very much. Congratulations. Oh, thank you. All right, we're going to uh, get a across this rope here. Oop. Maybe we're not. There we go. And we give one last look here. Fantastic, 20 years in the making, and uh, he's finally uh, he's finally got it. And it's going to be on the road. It's a, it's a tail. I'm sorry, it's not level. It's a tail dragger. It looks like to me. But uh, anyway, Manuel did a great job, and uh, it's fantastic. I wish you could see the color. It's kind of muted in the, on the phone here. But uh, boy, when he gets it out, I'm sure it's just going to pop. Anyway, we're going to kind of walk over to the uh, awards. Thing and uh, they're, I think they're getting ready to give out awards, but uh, you know they don't get to the amber until you know right at the end. So we'll see if we can snag a couple other people to talk to and maybe get them to show us their cars. And then as we get closer to uh, the award, we'll uh, we will uh, take you over there live. So thank you uh, from Rogers Journal. This is Tom Taylor. We'll be uh, we'll be back in a little bit.